In one of the most highly anticipated decisions of the year, the Supreme Court Thursday upheld the nationwide tax subsidies critical to President Barack Obama's health care overhaul. The 6-3 to three decision effectively preserves health care for millions of Americans. Reaction was swift from supporters, including the president. But as the dust has settled, there can be no doubt that this law is working. It has changed and in some cases saved American lives. And opponents. Uh, the problem uh, with Obamacare is still fundamentally the same. The law is broken. It's raising costs for American families. Uh, it's raising costs for small businesses. The justices said the subsidies that roughly 8.7 million people currently get to make insurance affordable do not depend on the state they live in, as challengers had contended. Over 6 million of those were at risk of losing those subsidies because they live in states that had not set up their own health insurance exchanges. Texas is one of those states. We're the state that has the most number of people who are uninsured or underinsured. Um, so this really makes it easier for us uh, to continue those efforts to help people live healthier lives. It, it, it seems like, it feels like there's some permanency to this now. So patients who are eligible to move into the exchanges can now move into those exchanges without, without fear of the, that being pulled out from under them? Pennsylvania, another state that would have been impacted. Had they gone the other way, something close to 350,000 Pennsylvanians would have probably dropped their health insurance coverage. Although not everyone is happy with the court's decision. Basically the problem still remains and that's people are not able to access affordable and quality health care and this ruling uh, continues uh, that uh, unfortunate problem. Thursday's ruling is the second major Supreme Court victory for Obama on the Affordable Care Act. I, I think this means that the Affordable Care Act is here to stay. Chief Justice John Roberts again voted in favor. Antonin Scalia, Samuel Alito, and Clarence Thomas were in the dissent. Jill Craig, Associated Press.